to Live Your Style. I'm Shara, and today we're gonna do another Christmas project. A Christmas DIY. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this awesome pom-pom ball wreath. And we're gonna make these cute little pom-poms. Um, I made these a couple of years ago. We did a garland with them in a previous video, excuse me. Um, and we, I have a bunch of extra yarn, so I thought we could do something really fun and festive. And it's also kind of like a hack from, I saw this on Anthropology for like a lot of money. And this is a lot less money, like, I don't know, probably $15 total. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. If you guys do attempt any of the DIYs or any of the projects we do for Christmas, Christmas, uh, be sure to post it on Instagram or Facebook and tag me because I want to see it. And make sure you, you need to share it with the Live Yourself fam, you know? You need to like encourage each other. And if you guys are a part of the Live It Journal family, you can post them on our Facebook page. That would be really cute. Here's what you're gonna need. One floral foam ring, a pair of scissors, a few different colors of yarn, and two different size pom-pom makers. You need a lot of yarn. You're gonna need at least two bundles, maybe three. So I basically used three different colors. That's a lie, I used four different colors. I used white, I used like an off-white, and then I used a different t shade of cream. And then I also had this little dusty gray color that I thought was cute that we can add to it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make them, how to attach them to this cute little ring, and you'll have a cute wreath to hang in your home for Christmas. Okay, let's get started. Here are the two different pom-pom makers. These are really simple, and you have to make a lot of these pom-poms, so I just recommend getting them. They're not that expensive, and I can link them below. Um, so here's what you do. You start with your yarn, you open up one side, and you're going to place your finger right here, and you just start wrapping. It's super simple. You guys can do this with your friends, it's super fun, and it's pretty mindless. You can pay attention to a movie, not have to worry about it. Okay, once you're finished wrapping this one side, then you kind of put it in its little hole. Use your scissors and cut, and pull the other side. And start wrapping. You guys can see on this one here, it is fully wrapped on both sides, and Right here, you kind of see a little bit of a divot. You're gonna take your scissors and you're going to cut through that divot while keeping it closed. See? And you need really good scissors too. When you guys are wrapping these, you wanna make sure you wrap it so that the uh, sides are fully covered. You don't want any holes, because that'll make for really thick palms, which is kind of what you want. Okay, so now you can see there's like a nice little opening here. You're gonna take your string and you're going to slide it through that little opening there. And you're gonna tie, I tie it three times just to make sure it's extra secured. We're gonna end up tying them onto this thing. So if you wanna be able to tie it, then you just lift the sides. a perfectly cute little pom-pom. Now, like I said, we've got two different si sizes. So we've got our bigger ones and our smaller ones, and you can make both. So you just repeat that process over and over, and once you're done with the little pom-pom, you kinda wanna turn it around to see if there's any like random scragglers. You can pull it lightly and see if it's really secure, then I wouldn't pull it out. I would just trim it. And if it's really loose, then you can just pull it out completely. Pretty easy, right? The question of the video. Okay, what is your favorite Christmas movie? My favorite Christmas movie is Elf. Y'all can disagree with me if you want, but I'm gonna need to know what your favorite is and why it's your favorite, you know? Because that's important. And I'm pretty sure Elf tops all of them. So leave me your answer in the questions below. And keep making your pom -pom. Okay, now that we have 742 pom-poms, we are going to tie them to this little ring. The key with this is to smush them. So I prefer tying as opposed to hot gluing because you want this thing to feel really full 
And as you start to add them, you can kind of mix the colors around. You can decide if you want to put a white one or a cream one next to it or maybe a gray one. Um, and then you can also move them around by sliding them if you need to adjust the placement once you have them attached. Then, once you have them attached, I'd wait till the very, very end. I'm gonna take my scissors and maybe clip some of these off. That way they're not like all hanging around in the back. We have one on. <laughs> so exciting. Did this turn out? You guys, I put this little reindeer guy, got it at a craft store, just kind of snuggle him into this cute little cozy wreath, and I love it. You guys could do this really any color palette, but I happen to like the whites and the grays and the creams. I think it's kind of like a wintry wonderland and very cozy. You could obviously put this like in a kid's bedroom if you really had the time, and if I really had the time, I would have loved to make two of these. And then I could have put them, like, hang them in front of my two windows on either side of my TV. That could have been really cute, but you kind of need two to do that in my house. So if you have a window, you could put it in front of a window. Um, I don't know, I just think it's a fun little DIY. So I want to hear from you guys. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Scout's hungry. What's your favorite Christmas movie? And also, give this video a thumbs up. And again, if you guys have not joined the Live It Journal family, if you guys don't even know what I'm talking about, go click the link below and check out more about the Live It Journal. There's a whole video on it. But it's basically a way for you guys to get more value out of my videos. I give you step-by-step -step, um, information on specifically whatever video we cover that week. And now, because it's holiday season, and we are doing two videos a week. Monday, if you guys missed it, we did How to Decorate Your House farmhouse style for Christmas. So it's like a holiday kind of twist on the Design Styles series that we were doing. Um, and in that Live It Journal, you guys actually get all the different design styles in one week. So you guys will get how to decorate your house traditional Christmas, how to decorate your house for glam Christmas. All those are in this week's Live It Journal. So if you haven't signed up, click the link below and join the Live It Journal fam. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys on Monday with another video on decorating for Christmas. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.